girl back for another video. This video is going to be about where have all the good men gone. This is a topic I talk about quite a bit yesterday. I did my men going their own way video. Well, this one's going to be about where have all the good men gone. I hear this all the time. I saw articles about it. It's all over TV. It's, it's a common saying amongst women, Western women today. I gotta keep saying Western women. There's too many women that keep bringing up women from other countries. When I'm talking about women, y'all, I'm talking about Western women. I am a Western woman. I'm talking about other Western women here in the States. Let me give you guys a little bit of context. She actually made this video six years ago. So that just shows you. Six years ago, it was pretty bad. It's even worse now. So I just want you guys to know that. This is six years ago. So. This is a common saying amongst women in the West. And uh, a lot of women, you know, just about almost all the females that I know and acquaintances that I've had, one thing I've heard them say at some point is, I can't find a good man. There's no more good men. Where have they gone? You know, what happened to them? Men are pigs, they're dogs, they cheat. You know, you can't trust them. Very, very common. Well, I just want to try to get y'all to see this from a different angle here. And maybe, you know, it'll wake some of y'all ladies up out there. So, ladies, when you're dating a man or you're seeing a man or whatever you want to call it, and he cheats on you and you, you're pissed off at him, you know, you, you want to... You, write off all men you don't want nothing to do with men anymore I just want you to think about this if other women were not so willing to open their legs to a stranger or if other women were not uh, whores I'm just gonna say it this kind of stuff wouldn't happen that much it's just straight up straight up I love how she's just brutally honest about the whole thing you know, she's just going straight for what the truth is. Women today are not ladylike whatsoever. Women today will meet a man and sleep with him the same day she met him. Women today want to be like men. They want to meet someone, impress them, sleep with them, and um, not experience any kind of consequences for it. And they still want to be looked at as a strong woman afterwards, which they won't. You know, if, you, if you're sleeping around, to me, you a whore. If you're uh, sleeping with all these different men and, you know, by the time you my age, you don't slept with 60, 70, 80, 100 men, you're a whore to me. And that's just my opinion. Ain't well, see, the thing is, is that women think that that equals experience. They think that men want experienced women that have had all these partners. You hear it all the time. They say, well, why would you want to be with someone so young with no, quote, experience that doesn't really know what she wants? So their idea is I need to go through all these men, sleep with all these men to figure out what I actually want and actually who I am as a person. It's, it's completely backwards. None of y'all going to be able to change my mind on that. And uh, again, if, if I'm speaking and offending you right now, you might as well hang it up right now because I'm just going to keep on offending you in this video. Well, women today, like I said, they're not ladylike. They, they walk around. They want to dress skimpy. They want to put on uh, enough makeup to where they start looking like a transsexual. They, they want to wear. You know, that's a good point about the makeup. Because there's a lot of women that actually don't need makeup. And then when they put the makeup on, it makes them look worse. And they start, I don't know, basically looking like a drag queen. You know what I mean? It's like they overdo it to where it's, you know, clearly like a just a straight up face mask. And it looks crazy. Fake this, fake that, fake hair on their head, fake eyelashes. Uh, <clears throat> where they look like they dressed up for Halloween night. They, uh... They get in surgery, they get their lips blown up, they get in their, uh, their butts done, their breasts done, nothing's real anymore. And the thing is, you can tell it's fake. It's like they have no limit to what they're going to do, and it's clearly fake. There's nothing natural about it. 
It's 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 crazy. And uh, and it's all done to impress not only men but other women. Women are in competition with each other. Don't I say that all the time? Women are in competition with each other. Everything they do is not just for male attention. So it's not just, you know, they're not just getting like that to impress males. It's also to compete with other women so they can look better than them other women. Women are just extremely insecure and broken today. But trying to stay on topic here. If other women were not whores and willing to lay down and flirt with a married man or a man in a relationship and you know, this kind of stuff wouldn't happen. Men wouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff. They wouldn't be able to cheat on you as often. Just like I always say, women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. Men can only do what women allow them to do. They wouldn't be able to, you know, run off or sleep with a woman they just met if the woman wouldn't be willing to do it. So instead of running around blaming men, you know, men are only going along with what women have allowed. So let's go back like 50 years. Let's go back to your, your grandparents and your great grandparents. Everybody think about your great grandparents. Do you think, um, and I'm generalizing here, typically they were married when they had children. And I want you to think about this. Do you think that when your great grandmother met your great grandfather, the first day she met him, she slept with him? Probably not. Back then, women were ladylike. They wore dresses, they covered their bodies, they had a man court them. You know, then they, if they were gonna be with that man, they typically wanted to be married to that man before they had their children or whatnot. Or if they had a child with that man, they got married afterwards. And women from those times, like your great grandmother, probably only have slept with one or two partners in their whole life. I know female acquaintances my age that have slept with 60, 70, 80 men, five men a year since the age of 16, 15. You know, that adds up, believe me. You know, my grandmother, um, she only slept with my grandfather. Rest in peace. I love both of y'all up there looking down. That's it. One person. But you look at today, that number is crazy, just like she just described. Believe it or not. And they don't see nothing wrong with that. And uh, I know women, acquaintances right now that are in relationships with a man, and they will go out and hang out with ex-boyfriends that they slept with and will tell their boyfriend they've never slept with that man before. Oh, he's just a friend. I've never slept with him. You know, and I've seen this happen so much, you know. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, and, you know, I'm, I've am i been married for 10 years. I don't hang out with ex-boyfriends. I just don't do that. Why? It just could open up the door to something happening, or I just don't do that. I don't, I don't do that. I really don't hang out with males. I don't have male friends. I just, I just draw the line on that. It's because I'm a married woman, and it, can, it just invites too many issues, so... I know a lot of female acquaintances, y'all, and I, just so many of them and, uh, that I've seen cheat on boyfriends, run around with ex-boyfriends. Fellas, I'm just going to tell you right now, if your girlfriend or your wife is hanging around with an ex-boyfriend and she said she never slept with him, she's probably lying about that. Yeah. And this is why men have a problem with that. And any man that doesn't, you're just setting yourself up for a big L. Uh, I've seen this hundreds of times. And I don't know why women continue to do that, but they'll get in a relationship with a man. They want to go hang out with ex-boyfriends and they want to tell their new man, oh, he's just a friend. I've never slept with him. He, he was just, you know, it was just puppy love. I, we never actually had sex, but they did. You know, I have a female acquaintance right now that actually hangs out with several of her ex-boyfriends that she was sexually active with. And her new boyfriend has no idea that she had sex with these guys. Yeah. And see, another thing you have to point out is that there's a lot of men out there that just simply ain't shit. And they will go right along with that. They have no moral base, no moral character. But at the same time, these a lot of these men are weak 
and they will just take whatever they can get from any woman. They don't care that she's in a relationship or anything like that. These are the captain save a woman type of guys that come in because they believe all the lies and all the stuff that a lot of these women tell them. But that's weak on a man for even to want to be friends with someone that's in a relationship like that, let alone be married to him or something like that. So some of that blame is on the men too. those weak men that do that. Not cool. He actually believes that she didn't, you know, it's just, there's too many women that are deceitful today. They lie, they deceitful, they whores, they want sexual attention and, uh, they're insecure. And, uh, it's, it's just, men would not be able to cheat and run off with another woman or sleep with another woman they just met if women would not allow it. Okay. I'm talking about, you know, single women, basically. So if you're in a relationship with a man and he meets a woman somewhere and they start flirting and she invites him to have sex and he does, if she wouldn't have, you know, agreed to it, it wouldn't have happened. Okay. And I know there's going to be some women that say, oh my God, I can't believe you could blame this all on women. Well, I am because to me, naturally in nature, I'm just being honest here. Um, I think men can have more partners, you know, Ooh, that's going to upset a lot of women right there, but let's continue. <laughs> when you think of like, um, the lion pride, or you think of, you know, other mammals, the male's job is just to impregnate the females. The females don't go off and have a bunch of different partners. You know, I know we're civilized. You know, I mean, I'm married. I have one partner, my husband, I'm his one partner. But the thing is, women, I look at women like they're supposed to be more ladylike. It's, you know, that's that's our nature. We're supposed to be more ladylike. We're not supposed to meet a man and, and go open up our legs right away. It's just so disgusting and unladylike to me. When women you know, I, I, I heard my, my aunt tell her daughter this years ago and I remember that her daughter had got cheated on by her husband and she came over and she was crying and my aunt and she wanted revenge. She was like, well, I'm going to do the same thing. And she told her straight up. She was like, as a woman with respect and morals, you never lower yourself to the level of someone that has done something wrong to you, especially a man. I don't care if he's your husband or whatever. You don't go tit for tat because the only one that loses their respectability in the end is you. It's never going to be a good look for a woman to go out there and try to act like a man and go tit for tat and do the same thing back. The man is not going to take the L for that. The woman is. So you have to be ladylike, be respectful. But see, being ladylike and, and, and being respectful and all that, all those things are like traditional. And women these days are far removed from anything traditional unless it's what they want from the man because when it involves a man, it's, I want you to be traditional. I want you to pay this. I want you to do all these traditional things. That's the only time they like to tie into anything traditional. So for a lot of women to hear this and to hear her say, this is like, they probably think she's crazy, but that is what they need to be doing. And I've told my daughters the same thing. You don't lower yourself to what a man has done to you. You be more ladylike and you take the high road. Because you're, on, you're the only one that's going to take an L in that situation. You're the only one that's going to be looking like a hoe. You're the only one that's going to be looking like a loser. Period. Not just to him and, and everybody else, but to your family, to your kids and everything else. And then you're going to be out of control, be emotional. Now you didn't connect it with some guy that you said you didn't have really no uh, connection with. You just did it out of revenge. And now you can't break that tie. And that's a whole nother bag of shit that comes into the situation. Women do that kind of stuff. You know, I'm not saying I think highly of a man that just sleeps around just all the time and with random, you know, women and don't know who he's sleeping with and, and this and that. But I look down more on a woman that does that because I look at a woman to be like I said, more lady, like, like, like I wish women would go back to being like they were when my grandmother was younger, 
you know, my great grandmother in those times, women were less likely to be the way they are today. The numbers were very, very low. You know, if you had your whore in society back then, everybody, you know, knew who the town whore was and nobody liked them. But today it's like, it's rare to find a woman that's not like that. Okay. And that's really sad to me. Yeah, I mean, times have definitely changed. There's like this book. It was like a TV show and a movie, too, but it's called The Scarlet Letter. I mean, you, you, you know, you used to get stigmatized for things that you did that was outside the norm. And all of these things were like checks and balances. They, they kept things in check in our society. But now that line is so blurred and is so removed now that women are just all over the place doing all these crazy things because it's become normalized because they have other women telling them, yeah, you go girl, you go out there and be like a man, go out there and sleep with all these men and find yourself. That's the problem. And because women are easily led by other women, this is what you have. It's like a kind of like this pack mentality. Oh, she did it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it better. Oh, she did it. Okay. It's just like if you're in a, a crowd, right? If you have a speaker and he's standing on top of a podium and there's a hundred people out there and he's speaking, it only takes one person to start heckling him before the rest of the people start doing the same thing. It's like that mob crowd type, type of mentality. Well, women do the same thing and it, they definitely do it with this. And women like her get shunned. They become the enemy because they're speaking the truth. And they're speaking the truth on what actually worked. Um, women, ladies, if you if you respect yourself and you respect your body and you stop opening your legs to a man you just met, I know you want to impress him. I know you want him to like you, but the thing is, he's not. He's just going to... Uh, it's just going to be for that moment. He's going to get off. The next day he's going to come and he's going to forget all about you until he gets horny again. You know, you're not going to ever be anything more than that to him if you choose to lay down with him right away. And that's just the way it is. He's not going to respect you. He's not going to look at you as wife material. You're just going to be slut material. And in the same way, if a man is a sucker and he's weak, and he goes out and spends all this money taking these women to these expensive first, date, first dates and buying flowers and doing all that type of stuff, giving her things that she doesn't deserve in the same way that a woman shouldn't be giving the man the uh, sex or the box or whatever you want to call it when he doesn't deserve it. He's not going to respect her for that. And in turn, she's not going to respect him for being weak and being easy and, and, and you know, just being a simp. So it's the same you know, type of thing. You can't give people what they don't deserve because they will not respect you. That doesn't mean that they won't take it, but they won't respect you. Okay. He's not going to look at you as somebody he could lean on and trust. I wouldn't want to trust a woman that the minute I met her, she was trying to open her legs to me. You know, if I was a man, I might take it, but I ain't going to want to marry her. It's just, that's just being honest. That's just being real. But I don't know where we're heading with all this, but where have all the good men gone? They're still here. The thing is, they're just less likely to want to commit to women today because women are so deceitful. They're not trustworthy and they tend to be whores. You know, that's the only word I can come up with. I really can't think of anything else. They're just whores. And I know so many women that I have a lot of experience with this. I have a lot of female friends from the past, acquaintances that are in relationships right now with a man, with children, and put on this facade that they're good women, they're perfect, they, they're they uh, you know good to their man, but in reality, the first time another man comes by and flirts with them or something, she's ready to you know jump out of her panties. And it happens all the time. You know, when women take these girls trips or when they go to happy hour um, and you see them and they got the, the ring on the finger and all that. I've In my life, I've had women that were married approach me. So and, and I'm not the only man that that's happened to. So the bottom line, again, is that women control access to sex. You know what I mean? So 
If women don't open their legs, it's not going to happen. But just because a woman wears a ring on her finger, just because she has your child, just because you've been with her for a certain amount of time, years or whatever, that doesn't mean that she's going to be faithful and loyal and all that because she's got people to, to cover up what she's doing. Oh, I'm going to Monique's house when she's actually at a guy's house. Cover for me, girl. Say I'm over here. I'm going to drop the kids off. We're going to go for a play date or all, all these type of things. If women want to get it in, they're going to get it in. If they want to get bust down, they're going to get bust down. It's as simple as that. And they got people to cover their back. And some of their family members will even cover their back and lie for them. And men will just sit there and not know the half. They don't know what's going on. And that's just being honest. I've seen this before. And, I, and it's because the woman is so insecure. You know, ladies, we wouldn't have to worry so much about, you wouldn't have to worry so much about your man running off on you or jumping in bed with another woman if other women would start being more ladylike. But see, that's the thing. Women will never hold other women accountable because they need women to back up their bullshit. I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. Women are never going to do that because they will take away their backup. They will take away that, oh, you go, girl. Whenever you hear a woman break up with a relationship, what does she say? Well, he wasn't giving me what I need. He was doing this. He was doing that. It's never her fault. See, women don't want to give that up because they have other women that says, yeah, you're right, girl. Yeah, I knew he wasn't this and that and blah, 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 blah. So they don't want to give that up. That's why as a group collectively, they will never change because they always need an excuse and they always need an out for their behavior. And quite frankly, society makes excuses and gives them out all the time. Okay. We would have uh, our marriages would last longer. We would have less divorce. We would have less hooking up. You know, I don't like this new dawn of, you know, this hookup stuff going on. It, you know, women, these feminists are really brainwashing women into thinking that they can sleep around and, and, you know, hook up one night stands and still feel good about themselves. And that is just not true, ladies. You're not going to feel good about yourself when you're sleeping around. You're going to feel like a, a dirty, used up washcloth. You know, um, you're just not going to feel good about yourself. What makes me feel good about myself is the fact that I'm not out sleeping around. I have one man and one man only. No one else will be able to be with me. No one else will know what it's like to be with me. And that makes me feel good. I feel good about myself. You know, I'm, I'm only for one person. And that's very valuable to a man. Very much so. And, you know, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but it's just if women were more ladylike and demanded um, respect and didn't sleep around and held out and showed men that they trustworthy and that they respect themselves, you know, they would be treated a lot better. And then you wouldn't have to worry about your man running off with somebody. Oh. You know, the thing is, is that you have to realize, especially these days, and I just watched a video on this the other day, but this whole hookup culture thing, these young women and, and a lot of women in general, they actually look at it like this. They say, well, if it's not someone that I see myself being in a serious relationship with, why do I need to make them wait for sex? But if it's someone that I feel like I might have a future with, I'm going to make him wait. I'm going to make him prove to me that he's worthy of my time. You see how backwards that is? Instead of saying, well, he's not worth it. He's not for me. I don't, I shouldn't, I don't want to be with this guy. I don't see a future with this guy. See back in the day, when women said that and they had that thought process, they would just cut it off and th there would be nothing happening. There would be no sex. There would be nothing going on. But see, it's the total opposite today because these women believe that they need to try to be like men. They think that they can emulate what men do and go out there and just sleep with all these random people. And it means absolutely nothing, but it actually tears up their soul. It actually destroys their chances of actually finding the men that they actually want to be with.
because men don't respect that. But this is the mentality that they have. There's videos all over the place of women saying this. Well, if I don't think there's, there's, there's anything wrong with that, or if I don't think that there's a future, then why make them wait? I'll just sleep with them. Well, see, these guys are the Chads and the Tyrones, the, the bad boys and all of that that these women are sleeping with. And these Chads and Tyrones and bad boys, they're the top 20% of guys that are sleeping with all women. So then these women get dogged by these men, and then they start complaining that all men are bad. But they look past the guys that are in their on their level that are good for them. You see what I'm saying? They make those guys wait forever or play games, put them in friend zones, never even give them any kind of affection on any type of level. So it's it's completely backwards. And that is a big problem. Or, or having a one night stand with somebody, because if all women respected themselves and didn't do that kind of stuff, it, it, it wouldn't happen. And I just want to tell y'all a little story real quick, because this video is getting kind of long and I'm almost home. Um, the other day I was at the store and I was shopping by myself and this man came up to me. You know, he was a nice looking man, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, you know, built tall. He came right up to me and said, you know, you, you, you're beautiful. You know, where are you from? You, you know, I love how you look. You're so beautiful and this and that. And uh, I was like, okay, thank you. And I kept walking and he stopped me again and he said, you know, I really would like to get your phone number. You're just, you're gorgeous and I really want to get to know you. And I said, I'm sorry, but I'm a married woman. And I tried to walk off again and he followed me again. He's like, married, I'm married too. That's okay. It's no big deal. That's okay. I can't get your number. I'm like, absolutely not. And this is the last time I'm going to tell you no. Okay. Thank you for the compliment. Bye. Well, see, the thing is, he's probably used to women actually giving into that, married women actually giving into that, because they do. Like, there's, I had a friend one time that cheated on her husband, right? And it took him like a couple years to figure it out. But she had a job to where she had to travel all the time. And um, so she would always travel, and they had like this big office. They were in real estate. So they would travel the country and do like these seminars and conventions and trainings and all this type of stuff. And, you know, she would always leave. And I think there was like three or four women in the office, but the rest were all men, like 10 of 10 men. And so, excuse me, they would always have to go on these trips. And my friend, they had three children. So he would stay back. He was working too, but it was easier for him to take care of the children and all that because of the type of job that he had. But she would always have to leave on these trips, maybe every few months, every two or three months or something like that. And um, I used to tell him, I was like, man, aren't you like concerned that your wife is constantly going on these trips and around these men? And he was like, man, I'm not worried about it. I'm secure in my, uh, my my marriage and I know she know she won't cheat on me and you know she's walking around with this ring on they all know she's married I've met some of these guys and all this shit right and long story short come to find out she had been having a year long affair with a guy that she that worked in our office that he was also married and she had met some guy on one of these trips and he became like a friend of the company or something like that. So she was actually having an affair with two different guys. And the other guy that was married that she was having the affair with, he didn't even know that she was having also having an affair with this guy. So just because a woman has a ring on her finger or somebody has a ring on their finger in general, that doesn't mean that they're not going to cheat on you. That doesn't mean that you can just totally accept these things that they do. If you put people in a situation long enough, we're all human beings. Something is going to happen. You know what I mean? You have to be wary of that. You have to be aware of that. And you have to pay attention to it. You can't just be blah, be blase blah about it and say, oh, it'll just never happen. It happens more than you think. Just like she's just, just saying right now. And I started walking off. Now, what I thought about, what really surprised me was... The fact that when I told him I'm married, he wasn't, he didn't feel the need to back off at that point. It was like, when I thought about it, I'm like, he must, 
ask a lot of women for their numbers and when he find when they married he still gets the number so he's used to getting the number and he's used to women you know cheating basically that's why he was so uh I mean, I couldn't get him to leave me alone. I couldn't, no, it was not enough. I'm married, I'm not doing it. I don't, you don't do that, you sure? Come on, you don't do that? Like, the, it just made me feel like he's used to getting numbers from women that are already taken, you know? He's used to it. And that's why he kept on pressing me, you know, because I think that he does that to a lot of women that he'll, he'll you know, they'll say they married, or they're in a relationship. And then he'll keep asking them and then they'll give up the number and he'll start talking to them. They probably start sleeping together on the side. And that's exactly what happens because if you're in a situation like that, think about it. If you're married, the other person is married, there's no strings. There's no expectations. You know exactly what you're going to get from that person. You know that you're not going to leave your husband and you know he's not going to leave his wife. For a lot of people, that's a perfect storm. And that's why a lot of times people act on that. Because they don't have to give anything else. They don't have to like be like in a full-on relationship. It can just be bang, 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 bust down, bust down, and that's it. Fulfill them needs, and that's it. And guess what? Those people go home and treat the spouse like shit. Perfect example of what she's talking about. So he's so used to that that he thought I was going to do that. And that's really sad to me that that's how many women out there are willing to sabotage their marriage or you know their relationship to get a little bit of attention so ladies it's about us being more respectful to our bodies ourself and being more ladylike and you wouldn't have to worry about um you know men doing this and that to you with other women you know if all women started being more respectful so that's going to conclude my video i'll see you all very soon bye yeah, I mean, that's the only thing, um, you know, women as a collective, they're never going to do that. There's too many women out there that believe that it's okay to just be loose and out there in them streets. If it was possible that women could collectively get together and say, look, let's, let's stop doing this. Maybe things would change, but I just don't see it happening. I just don't see it happening. What I see is that there will be a lot of women that just attack her because they just want the freedom to sleep around and do whatever it is they want to do. So I don't see it changing, you know, and it's sad. And eventually we're going to get to the point where there's no children being born. There's nobody getting married. And, you know, we're going to all cease to exist.